this before my first class and the only class of the day, English at 8 a.m. It is the second time we've been to an English class, so I guess just a bit more comfortable, just a bit more familiar. Honestly, I love Tuesdays because it's the only class I have. I just get to look forward to ending the earliest. We end at 9.15. And then after 9.15, since we're basically done with the school day, I know what I'm gonna do because I have so much free time today. Probably do homework for tomorrow. All right, class is over. I think I'm gonna go get breakfast now. Seems a lot better. This is the state of Washington News currently with a beautifully paved road and a, uh, a snow mess, all lumps and stuff. It's not even as even as yesterday. Anyways, yeah, we are done with classes today entirely. You know how I have four classes on Monday? Well, I think I found a new reason to like Monday because I only have one class on Tuesday and I can just spend Monday thinking about how great the next day is gonna be. I'm still wondering what to do today. I don't know. I was planning on going outside for a bit, except I knew it was gonna snow right now. But the roads are really paved and clear today because it wasn't snowing for a while. Currently, I'm on my way to buy something from Soho. On a normal day, I would be walking there because it's not that far, but since it's snowing right now, we gotta take the subway from West 4th Street. Take one station down to Soho, and uh, we'll see if we can buy that thing today. When your glasses fog up so much that without glasses, you can see better, that's a problem. West 4th, we're almost there. How am I gonna cross this thing? This one is hard to I need a detour. Ah, I took so many detours. Now we're finally at the station. I think that took us over five minutes for sure. I did not know walking was this, this hard. Imagine having to walk all the way to Soho in this weather. Nah, we're not doing that today. Wow, this is literally almost a nightmare. I can't see. Almost got lost at the subway station here because I can't read the sign. But we're supposed to go downtown. That's why we're here. New York really will fuck you up like this. Well, we're in Soho, everybody. With these piles of snow and like no people in cars, it feels like a ghost town. Felt like a ghost town back there on the outside of Soho. Now I see a lot more people and I'm now a bit more certain that stores are open today. Just take a look around. It's so inactive. I've come here when there was no snow, obviously. And there are a lot more people than this, I can tell you. The place we're trying to go to is right around the corner. Timberland. And guess what we need? A pair of boots. So funny story, back in Korea when I was going to high school, there was a video thing I had to do for a club. It was reviewing shoes from different shoe stores and I was in charge of Timbaland. Like I tried them on and stuff. And I was really considering if I should buy them back then. Oh. It actually fits me. It's kind of longer and wider than my, my foot. Actually lighter than I thought. It's not actually not bad. Except Seoul's not that cold and California is not that cold either. So I passed up the opportunity for a pair of Converse. I think the opportunity has arrived again. We are here. I think we're gonna go with this one. That one, the classic. 198. Mm -hmm. I see. I'm gonna need something like this for the puddles over here, which are insane. Except these are size 10, too big. I think these are slightly large though. I think I need a half size lower. Which is weird because for sneakers, I use a size 10. Ooh, that feels a bit different now. Ooh, this is that it kind of wobbles around slightly. I think boots aren't supposed to do that. Like they're supposed to keep your foot super intact, which is kind of a different style from my runners. I usually wear my runners big. I'm going to have to ask for a smaller size. I'm beginning to feel a bit sorry for these guys. Okay, so I asked for a uh, 7.5 right now. I was going to see if, if that fit, I would go with that. If that was small, I'd go with an 8. The guy just offered me an 8, so I'm going to try that as well. We'll try to figure out my size for two ones. I think it's a lot different from my 10, the 10.5. I wear usually. This is an 8, hopefully it fits fine, although it's slightly a bit big again. I think this is going to be our deciding factor. If this is too small, I guess we go with an 8, even though that's not perfect. But I think this is going to fit right now from the looks of it. Actually, upon trying the 8s and the 7.5s, the 7.5s are a bit too tight to the extent where I think if I wear it too, for too long, it's going to hurt my feet. So I tried tying the 8s harder and they work perfectly. I think it's going to be that one. <laughs> Nice. We have them, boys. We have Tim's. Now we're just gonna walk back. I'm going to the other closer subway station to go back, which will land me in Union Square. Before we leave Soho, have a just a good look around what it looks like in the snow. It's wild, chaotic, empty. 
almost dropped my phone. One of the things that comes when it's a snowing day. This is how we leave Soho in style. Ah, rip outdoor dining, which is really indoors because freaking tents and houses and stuff made of wood. Like what's the point of outdoor dining if you're gonna make a separate indoors outside? Whoa, look at that. Look at the sculpture she's making. That is incredible. The street is already so much cleaner than yesterday. Do you remember yesterday? We walked in the middle of the street because the sidewalk was so dirty. This is what change happens in a day. Well, here we are. We're finally reading the Bible that I showed a few videos back, I think, at this point. Discourses and, of course, the Bible, which we've never read before. You know how every hotel has Bibles in the drawer? And uh, yeah, this is actual homework for a class called Texts and Ideas, also known as Philosophy and Enlightenment. I read Genesis 1 to 11, and uh, yeah, it's basically what I know, I guess. Ah, oh, after such a calming and free day of only one class at 8 a.m., tomorrow is going to be a striking three classes again, text and ideas, data structures, and decision models. So it's not so good, except this is what I've been doing last semester, so I really shouldn't be all weirded out by this. This is how it's always been. The thing I still don't get is how are these waterproof? Like these kind of feel like suede or whatever. Apparently these work. Guaranteed waterproof since 1973. We got that extra one inch of height now. Whoa. So this is what six foot people look like. I feel taller now. Oh dude, I feel unstoppable on snow now. The air is a, a bit fresher one inch higher than I used to be. I think it's making a lot of difference. You will be surprised how much of a difference three or four centimeters makes in your, I don't know, everyday unconscious routines. Right now we're going to get dinner at over 8.30, which is unusually late. Don't worry if we're not gonna show it in the video because I've shown you way too much eating sequences in the past several videos. Overall though, this purchase is a success in my book.